Welcome to Casebag Watches, my name is Tim and in this episode I want to be overly picky about Jung Hans and Dan Henry. Because the week was sort of crap. Uh, nothing worked, I had trouble with DHL and some other institutions and yeah, and so I want today, I want to kick 100% positivity out of the damn window and I want to be overly picky. I want to nag about Jung Hans and Dan Henry. If you own a Jung Hans or a Dan Henry, relax. Now I don't want to talk you out of those brands or models and on the contrary, I will report here about the positives or all the positives, but I will find the errors and flaws and downsides of those models. Positivity sometimes is only to sell you something and I don't have to sell you something and so I can find merciless the downsides here. First watch, first watch, I don't know, um, this Dan Henry 19, 1964 Gran Turismo I bought in the forum, just saw it and I had in my, in my head that people recommended it to me and so I thought why not, why not, was new but cheap and so no problem. And the second one I saw on eBay was longer on my list. This is the Jung Hans Max Bill, the version with 30 automatic 38 millimeters. And I've presented you some Jung Hans watches, the, the hand winding model th uh, 34, the purest form of a Jung Hans Max Bill and the chronoscope. And this is in the middle between the small hand winding and the big chronoscope. This is a dress watch exactly in the middle. And then we have all the, in my opinion, um, um, important models by Jung Hans on this channel. So this is topic. This is the topic for today. Jung Hans Max Bill and Dan Henry Gran Turismo. Okay, now without any further ado, let's go in the light box and let's find everything. Let's find everything. Let's be merciless with those timepieces. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we are. Let's begin with the Max Bill. It's not particular order, I just want to start with the Max Bill, no reason behind it. So basic specifications, 38 millimeters is the case diameter, lug width is 20, it's very convenient because it's easy to buy nice straps with that lug width. And the thickness is, um, or the slenderness is only 10 millimeters. And this makes the watch very, very comfortable on the wrist. And what I especially like is the case of the, fo uh, the, the, the form of the case, excuse me, the form of the case with those facets. It's like a little gem on your wrist. I really adore this. And you find this case form um, mainly in the vintage market. Vintage pieces from Omega or Gégé Le Coultre came with this specific case form, which is, again, very comfortable on the wrist, very elegant, yeah, really lovely, lovely form. The case back is polished. The entire watch is polished, high polished. There you can find the, the Max Bill signature and uh, those holes for a specific case opener. Unfortunately, I don't own such a case opener, so I couldn't open the watch. And now let's check the dial. Yeah, this is, now you can see, I think, why I bought the version without a date, because it's very pure, and there you can see all the strengths of this particular design. Those nice numerals with a rounded four and the, the Jung Hans font and yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous watch. And the entire watch is dial. Sometimes you can find those watches, right? 38 millimeters case diameter, but then thick bezel and some other elements. And then the, the actual dial is very small. And this thing is only dial. And despite that, it doesn't wear too big. Doesn't wear too big. It wears very subtle because yeah, it's, it's, it's not cluttered. It's totally uncluttered and and yeah, everything in place. So I really, I'm really a fan of, of this dial, I must say. Although years I found those types of dial rather boring. Yeah, but yeah, you change your taste, right? If you are deep in the, in the watch world. Okay, the Sapphire is a plexi with some sort of coating. So it's not super easy to scratch it. But of course, this is by no means a sapphire or mineral glass. You can scratch, you can damage this very easy. Um, you can polish the scratches out, but then you have to polish away all the coating. I, frankly, I don't know if this makes sense. T sometimes it's cheaper to just replace the crystal. They are very, very affordable. Um, the mesh is one of my uh, generic mesh. So this is not a Jung Hans product. And yeah, this is the overall look, the, the basic specifications. And now let's uh, discuss the inner values. The inner values, and now it's <laughs> I'm getting picky here. Inside is a Junghans J such and such, which is an ETA 2824. 
with a date function. And if they make such a watch without a date, you could assume that they um, disabled the date function, but they haven't. Believe it or not, they haven't. I saw this several times with Jung, Hans, Lacko and some other brands that they use an ETA with date functions in a watch without a date. I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's not a super problem. You cannot see this, but you can feel it. First, hand winding, of course, feels totally good, feels substantial, substantial, absolutely substantial. But then, position one, position one, there's a position one, and now position two. And now you can set the time, which feels pretty good, and you can see it's very precise and everything right. But now, here we are, cluck, there it was, cluck, oh, this was very loud, did you hear this? This was very loud, there's a fat date click in the watch, without a date, Ugh, I don't know. Um, this is not a deal breaker, of course. They do this to keep costs low, but I don't know. This would, is this is this necessary? Is this necessary, guys? I don't know. I, I don't feel good. So this is the big downside here is the damn movement. I mean, although the movement is totally fine, this thing runs super precise, loses or gains about two or three seconds a day. It's marvelous, wonderful, wonderful working watch. But yeah, maybe I'm overly picky here but I don't like this. This is for me the downside, but again, there are so many plus sides on this watch. So if you have bought yourself a Max Bill or you want to buy yourself one, then uh, give it a go. It's a great watch. Overall, it's a really, really great watch and I really enjoy to wear it. I am looking forward to wear it uh, with, with leather when it's, getting, when it's getting colder outside, but all, even with this, with this mesh braid, it looks just fine, just gorgeous watch. Um, I can't show you the original leather strap, by the way, if I find it. So here's the original strap made by Jung Hans, and they make very substantial straps. This is really, really thick leather, but you want to see something gross? Uh, this is the old or the owner before me. Look at this. Uh, guys, if you buy used watches, then replace the, the strap. Nobody wants in contact with this, with this thing here. And what I find interesting or yeah, surprising is that uh, they don't use branded clasps, apparently. It's only a blank clasp, but the strap was high quality, but of course now it's, it's real garbage. Okay, let's go to the next watch, right? Let's go to the Dan Henry. The Dan Henry. Um, yeah, this was interesting to wear. The first, my first impression was um, too much light, too much going on, too much facets, too much shininess, too much bling bling on the dial. This watch reminds me of some uh, some airport boutiques with this characteristic uh, light system with LED lamps and every o all over the place and the, the showcases and uh, I don't know. This looked for me like such a place at an airport, and so I wasn't so fond of that watch. I thought, no, this is, this is too much. Um, but then this changed because there are some, some elements I really, really like. I mean, first, the classic dial. I really like that they, the logo is, is very small and, and it reminds you, of course, of those old chronographs made by Hoyer, for example. And so very, very, yeah, you feel at home with this, with this sort of dial because ah, you've seen this so many times but in, in very terrible conditions. And this looks then, yeah, brand new and very modern. Although it doesn't look as a real vintage piece, although I look at this, this, I mean, yeah, I can absolutely understand why people love this watch. This is, it was a pleasure to, to take images of this, of this watch. Um, do you want to me explain the basic specifications? I don't know if this is necessary to be frank uh, because they are all over the place. Case diameter 38, thickness, what was it, 12, I think. Luck with is 19. This is very vintagey. Um, it's not very practical, to be frank, but um, it's, it's, it's a good way to go for vintage inspired watch. Vintage, vintage, not vintage, man. <laughs> vintage inspired watch uh, 19. And what's interesting, what I've noticed is the bracelet, this was a new watch, brand new, and the bracelet came with a little amount of stretch. And I wonder, um, is this is this planned? Is this intentionally, or this was this is this a downside of the manufacturer, or what is it? 
And you know what? I like this because I know those bracelets from, let's say, old Jeje uh, Le I've owned once a Memovox with such a bracelet, and this this sound and the feel on the on the wrist is pretty pretty awesome. I, I really like this. I don't like, or sometimes I don't like these super massive bracelets on your wrist, like some some sort of armament. But this is f yeah, more elegant, in my in my opinion. This slightly loose metal bracelet i really 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 like this and the clasp is cheap as shit we all know this but this is perfectly fine i mean if you compare this let me compare this rapidly with let's say rolex then uh, i mean same thing right same thing this is the vintage bracelets came with shitty clasps so <laughs> which one looks better? This bracelet is worth, let's say, 600, and this is worth nothing, or let's say 20 or something like that. And yeah, this is uh, it's very close to each other. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Here you have this, this, little, um, this little car. I like pretty much. It's not perfectly positioned right now as you can see because I've opened the watch to take an image of the movement because the movement of course is we're talking here about the famous or let's famous I don't know but the new mecha quad is this the pronunciation mecha 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 quads what was <laughs> does it even mean I mean the the functionality it was explained by Dan Henry um, the 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 watch runs with a battery with a, with a quartz movement but the chrono runs then with a mechanical piece powered by the battery and so that you ha don't have this nasty tick 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 here you can see the chronograph very not very smoothly not, it's not a Daytona but it's nice to look at right it's nice to look at and so I'm really satisfied with this feature really nice and the feel here is um, substantial enough substantial enough for a chrono it's not that super hard crack you feel when when you have a have a seagull for example or a baltic then you have sometimes you have to push really hard but it's okay it is it is okay so overall really cool watch really cool because it's affordable and now the the vintage feel is yeah in reach which is great this is always great i've, I've said this about the baltic about the seagull I've made an entire video about vintage watches without vintage trouble and this is exactly that. You put it on and great, but at the same time this is the downside for me because a watch like this you have to consume because when it breaks it's um, yeah it's Im impossible to repair this. It doesn't worth the, it, it isn't worth the price then. I mean a watch service what cost it for quartz? I don't know 150 or what is it and the watch retails here at what was 230 US dollars I think. You can buy them used for about 150 uh, so it's exactly the price of the service then so it makes no sense. Those are watches to wear enjoy a little bit a year or two or what, I mean, who knows and when something breaks then you have to throw it away and this is consuming watches and this is uh, my eyes clearly a downside this is clearly a downside you, you shouldn't consume watches so but yeah every product has a downside and this is the one and another negative is the is the the movement although i've opened the watch i show you an image here and this is very um, this is a very nice look. Sometimes you have a quartz piece, you open it, and then you see nothing. You see a tiny movement size of a little coin with a fat battery in it, and that's it. And this here is very different. This is very different. Looks substantial, and as a watch lover, I find this satisfying. I find this really satisfying, and I, I love that they've written on the on the movement, no jewels, no jewels here. <laughs> really like this. I don't know if this is a joke or if this is necessary for some for some reason. Don't know. Um, but now let's operate the watch, and now it it's getting ghastly. I mean, first, of course, no hand winding. There's no function if you don't pull the crown. Then to set the time position two. And it feels terrible. It feels so flimsy and I oh, so flimsy. I mean, and look at this. If I move the crown here, there's nothing going on with the with the minute hand. So this is not very precise. This is a very cheap mechanism in between mechanism between crown 
a minute. This is uh, yeah. and but the really terrible part is the date. And I don't know. I don't know. This is ah. Oh, this feels so bad because it's so easy. There's not a single resistance, and sometimes you have the feel that there, the feeling that there is no resistance between the days. That it would be possible. It could be possible to 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 set the the, the date between some days. So ugh, terrible, terrible, really terrible. Not happy with this. I'm not happy with this. I mean, this is a quartz piece, and you don't have to manipulate every day, and you have to correct the time, uh, the, the date, um, at the end of the month sometimes, and that's it. And so we can't see over this. But this, of course, is the big downside for me personally. But overall, yeah, very cool watch. I don't know if this is a keeper for me, to be frank. I doubt it, because I don't like the consuming aspect so much. But this is, yeah, this is my point of view here. You can you can disagree here easily and with, without any problem. Uh, but, but the look is, um, yeah, I, I had to get used to this, but now I find the look in the, in the light is gorgeous. If I could alter here something, um, I really would take away a little bit from the shininess, if this is a word. Maybe I would use other indec uh, indices to give the watch a r more tulia look. So this is, uh, for me, this is really, this is a some sort of dress watch, guys. It's some sort of tulia dress watch. And I'd love to see this with a little bit more robustness, if this makes sense. I hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, but overall, great, great watch, especially if you see the price. I mean, this is a sapphire here. <coughs> this is a, Let's say <coughs> interesting <laughs> made bracelet. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. And the case and and the the overall handling of the watch is substantial. And so, for this price, it's a it's a great piece. And what I <coughs> also like is the packaging. It comes with this, with this. I don't know how to call this, but you can store watches in it. Here's so the warranty card. Spare links. And so this is this is a very cool piece here. Ah, and the, the original leather strap, unfortunately, same thing with many small brands. Um, uh, I don't know. It feels rather rather cheap. I must say, it feels rather. You know, it's thin, and I don't see it's some sort of printed leather here. Hmm. I'm not so happy with this. I, find, I really enjoy this with with this with this bracelet and. In the winter, I will change to another strap. I think, yeah, I think that's that's the way to go. Okay, I will put it on the wrist so yet then you can see how it fits a 17 centimeter wrist. Here we are. So, <laughs> do you hear this? This rattle sound from the bracelet. I really enjoy. Yeah, it looks cool. Cool watch. Really cool watch. Really cool watch. And you, you you have to be a little bit tanned because you want some contrast between your skin tone and the and the dial. But then yeah, pretty nice. Okay, let's do the same thing with uh, with uh, Max Bill. Same thing with the <coughs> with the Max Bill, and you can see totally different. But overall, again, really really good looking looking watch. And especially if you imagine both of those watches with cuff of a, of a quality dress shirt then yeah it's a gorgeous look gorgeous look okay that's enough let's go back okay yeah i'm feeling better i'm feeling better now equilibrated again in a, in a better mood and so yeah now i can tell you the good things of the week i received a letter from stefan kittelas he um, said that he will send me a watch for a review in the near future yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This can be interesting. Okay, now let's stop here. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice weekend and maybe until next time.